older, younger, same age. Hmm. This one's for the ladies out there because I love you very much. Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. I am Sapphire Vonet. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment, like, and click on the little bell notification so you know when I'm back with another video. For all of you who have been here, hi. So this seems to be a topic that a lot of people, in the, well a lot of women in the lesbian world are kind of talking about. Um, I guess I live under a rock because I didn't even know about this until one of my subscribers, shout out to Yolanda, thank you for the suggestion, uh, said that it would be cool to make a video and I started looking into the topic and I'm like, oh okay, so this is like actually a prevalent topic that people are actually talking about. Um, two things. Number one, I don't have too much experience in age gaps. Uh, at least really bigger age gaps, like 10 years plus. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much about experience. It's kind of more on what I've seen, uh, what I would think logically. And from my own experiences, the minimal that I've had when it comes to dating younger, which I've mostly dated younger, or people my age, than dating older. And number two, I didn't really know how to organize this video, so I kind of wanted to split it up between pros and cons, or like the nuances of younger, older relationships. So I want to start out with the pros. So for the first pro, in the difference between dating older and younger um the largest age gap i believe i had was when i was 19 and i was dating someone who i believe was like 23 so that's like a four year age gap it's not that big so i don't really think it counts here but i would say the difference in experiences um dating older women and and well dating older women They've gone through a lot more things than, than younger, and this goes with anybody, whether it's a woman or a man. Usually, I'm not saying that everyone that's older has had all the experience in the world, but usually people that are older have gone and lived more life because they've been here for more seconds or, or whatever it is that we call time. They've been here for longer and they've experienced more things, meaning they are more experienced in, um, educational matters perhaps in life experiences both good and bad um, perhaps even business like financial experiences love sex is definitely one so when you're dating someone who's older you mostly can learn a lot from them there's a whole world out there that you're learning from just being with someone who has more experience so depending on the dynamics of the relationship, an age gap can provide a balance of desires. It's kind of similar to personality types. For example, if you have somebody whose personality type is a lot more chill, uh, they don't really get out the house much, they're more introverted, perhaps somebody who's a little more out there can provide that balance where, hey baby, let's go out, let's do something fun, let's do something more activity-based, obviously if the other person wants that in the relationship so similarly comparing that to an age gap the same way a more mature person um, might want more company they want something more stable someone who's always there perhaps someone more sexually active um, with ending with someone who's younger you know that might have more energy to do things like that they can provide that balance in desires whereas in the younger person might be searching for a little more mental stimulation uh, maturity more experiences it's it's that it depends on the couple but it can balance off those necessities if you guys know what I mean unfortunately I have not had that much experience with dating older women it's not that I'm not attracted to older women honestly I think it's like the opposite I think older women may not be so attracted to me or if they are they just don't show it so I, I just can't really speak on that part unfortunately although I would love to have an experience on um, on that sense um, for some reason I attract younger women and to, kind of that just works out more for me or just happens it happens because it happens so just as there are uh, great 
balances between the gaps of desires there are also imbalances of uh, power dynamics and I know I've seen this a lot in videos where even though this happens in regular relationships so I can't really kind of goes with personality um, of the person but obviously when you're in a relationship with of some with someone who's 10 plus your age you know they've lived more they've they've spoken to a lot more people they've learned a lot more things they're just more life savvy um, the power dynamics can become a problem where usually I'm not gonna say it's always the older person because it could also be the younger person and it, it goes both ways um, there could be a lot of, of power problems where one person tries to take advantage or takes advantage of the younger person or the more inexperienced person in life or whatever um, and, and basically takes advantage of said person they become the more dominant figure and not in a sexy way uh, they're they're more like aggressive they may be more demanding they kind of take like that mama role you know like I'm the boss here and it, it's a lot easier doing that to someone who's pretty inexperienced with life doesn't probably know how to see those red flags or how to how to interact with those red flags and that can become a huge issue when it comes to these power gaps Number two, maturity gaps. Lordy Lord, and I've, I have experienced this, and this is just like four year gaps, you know? It, like I said, it doesn't matter how old you are. I've met older women and people that you would think because they're older that they're going to be super more mature. And honestly, it's the other way around. So everybody grows up differently. But if we're talking in a regular basis, there are huge maturity gaps. If you are in a relationship 10 years plus, you know, a, big, a lot older than each other or whatnot, it might become a problem when one part of the relationship or the person who's, <clears throat> excuse me, who's less inexperienced with life, with emotions, with uh, communication, uh, starts acting in an immature way and perhaps the more mature person has to become like a a teaching figure which can become kind of annoying at some point where you're basically a mom or a dad to this person who doesn't seem to understand maturity they get mad at certain things they get jealous they pout they act out they do whatever immaturity whatever you call immaturity they are that because they just haven't grown up insecurities that's another one when it comes to nuances or um, cons when it comes to age gaps um, on both ends so a more mature person or someone who's older might feel insecure with their their significant other if they feel like they're too old or oh you're gonna like someone who's younger and, and more you know into blase blah whatever the youngins are into and then the same similarly with younger women if 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 um the more mature person or the, the the older person meets someone who's more mature as well you know their own age where it's like all right i don't have to take care of you or whatnot that can also cause insecurities on both levels and lastly um the unwanted attention from society i mean you know we see this when we see regular relationships heterosexual relationships an older man with a beautiful young woman you know we kind of put in our right that girl's there for the money you know and it, it it creates that unwanted well i don't know unless you know they like that attention to each his own but you know you start kind of looking at them or start thinking judging there's a lot of unwanted attention when it comes to these type of relationships and this is true for a lot of other weird or non-normal uh, relationships in, in society. If it's not something that you see a lot, obviously society, society is going to judge it. So when it comes to age gaps, I think that one of the biggest nuances that I would guess a couple that's, that wants to be in an age gap relationship, and it's quite evident, because some people look very young, haha, and they might be a little older, um, or some people look younger they might look older it, it's going to confuse people so as long as that that partner the partners are ready for that they're ready to be looked at or stared at or have people talk or the family issues that could arise from 
age gap relationships um, also mature more people come from different types of uh, backgrounds and, and just completely different lifestyles um, in when they were growing up than now so their friends and their parents might have completely different mindsets to a millennial or you know somebody who's younger um, now where everything's more accepted and more those are the like that is one of the biggest nuances at least that I've seen that can arise from these age gaps make sure you guys comment let me know what you think about this topic I know it's very controversial and it's really kind of difficult I had a hard time kind of explaining it because it is something that I don't really think about too much or have experienced so I would love to hear from people that actually have experienced age gap relationships is it great were they uh what do you guys think make sure you subscribe like comment follow me on Instagram and TikTok I guess if you want to and I will see you guys on the next video ciao